Uh, Josh Green here for Tennis and Tales. Delighted to be joined by Danny Lalby, all the way from the US, but based in the UK nowadays. How are you doing, Danny? Not too bad, man. You? Very well, very well indeed. Um, exciting times coming up with the UK Open just around the corner. It Although not the best start for you at Q School. It's been a, a strange start to the year, hasn't it? Yeah, obviously the I, you know I came here in hopes of getting a tour card, which I still you know the dream's not dead yet. Still playing the challenge tour and hope to do some damage that way. But um, yeah, you know a little double trouble there. Obviously, Q School's a hard ask for. I mean, there's so many good players there. You know, hats off to all the North Americans that made the made the trip over. It's mm-hmm. they know just as well as I do that it's a big investment, big sacrifice to come all this way and then lose in a couple of days. You know, but uh, you know it is what it is. We keep going forward. But yeah. that's why I gotta stay here. Trying to... yeah. We'll talk about Q school a little bit more in a second. But um yeah. just you being based over here, I mean, how long have you been over here permanently? And I'm sure that can't have been an easy decision to make. No, so I'm I've been, I mean I've been here since since I got here in, in January, since before Q school. You know, I'm I'm I, this year I'm pretty much here probably eighty to ninety percent of the year. The only issue is I still have to sort out like visas and driver's license and everything so i'll okay. you know i'll leave and uh at whenever the warranted time is to leave and then uh come back okay and, uh, and i don't want any any issues with the travel situation yeah. uh, so until i sort that out i'm kind of you know puddle jumping if you will yeah, i know what you mean and the but i'm here i'm here the whole time though. i'm here i'm living here i'm living here in wellsborne so Okay. And the plan for you is what full time darts while you're over here, just hitting yeah. the board and playing as many tournaments as possible. That's it. Everything and everything. Every every day. It's, yeah. I mean I sure didn't come here for the weather, that's for sure. No, it's not been the best at the moment. <laughs> I, I tell you now, it won't be any better than in my head either. Yeah, it's been it's I've seen the sun more times lately, so it's not been bad so far, actually. But hmm. joking aside, like yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm here for. So yeah. Let's talk about the the UK Open qualifiers. They've been running for as long as I can remember as the the Riley's amateur qualifiers. What was the experience of that like? Did it sort of feel like just entering a sort of a pub tournament back home? No, I mean, well, kind of, but I didn't realize actually the history behind that. There's so much with these these qualifiers I didn't know about. You know, mm-hmm. like you had to cut. I, I, I think it was harder before. You had to like qualify through your your local pub and then you get to go to the actual qualifier and then that's the quali- like here you can just enter a qualifier if you make the journey right but mm-hmm. now i uh played in essex and uh you know it wasn't the hardest field and i just didn't you know i lost like in the quarters or something didn't play well and then the next day was coventry and it was just everyone in there everyone was there i mean everyone's that there was 124 people there was 100 i think 140 people registered but 124 or so showed up. Every good player around in the, from the Midlands and further were there. Was, I did not. I my plan was to win the day before on the Essex one. So I uh, leave it to myself to make things harder on myself. So you know, it's. I wish it wasn't. I wish I'd, I'd make things easier on myself and just win when it's easier. Sometimes you know. Yeah. Not a habit you want to get into making. Dark no, I, no, I know. I, I know. I always put myself in these situations like, oh, now you're down three now. Now what are you going to do? And it's just like, I, you know, it's, it's a mind game, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, like a do or die kind of player. So, and when, when, the, when the tide is low and things are easy, I don't know what to do with myself. You know, so I need to learn how to, how to just make things easier on myself, I think. Hmm. Would you say that's something that you've struggled with in the past, whether it be at Q school or whether it be in other events that being behind is it can be tough to drag you back into a contest when you're three nil down. Yeah. And for, I mean, my, my dad's name, his nickname growing up was always a uh, Cujo, right? Like the Stephen King story, right? Like, I don't know if you know the story Cujo, yeah. but it's like the reason why they call him that because he had the same tendencies, you know, I think, you know, just the way we, he's brought up, the way, you know, in the movie, the, the dog gets hit by a bat and is dead. And then he jumps into a window and it takes a, a gun to kill the guy the dog mm-hmm. jumping through a window so it's like one of those like you got a double tap and it just it doesn't get serious to your three no down even though that's like it's like a rocky kind of story you know it's like why don't you just win in the third round instead of waiting until the last round after your face looks like a bag of mango pulp you know just like <laughs> you know just make it easier on yourself and I, I don't know what it is it's like a flight or die there's something there's an instinctual thing that happens but that's why i'm here though i'm learning these lessons and learning to 
win at a big comp and learning to, you know, play the same kind of mentality in, in a smaller comp, even though every player I play here is, is there's just a different caliber here. You know, people are just better here. The culture is different with arts here. It's respected different. So yeah, that's why I like, I'm a big fan of this. Yeah. I think it's a good way to learn over here because outside the 28 tour card holders, there's hundreds and hundreds so of many, players that, so that could be on yeah. Yeah, and there's no substitute for experience. You know, there's you can't replace that with anything other than experience itself. So, I miss my, you know, I miss, I miss everything from back home. Honestly, you know, it's, it's, I miss everything from back home. So it's, uh, it's hard, it's really hard. But um, these are, you know, it, this is this is what you got to do if you're gonna do this. You got to do this. This is the this is the place. This is where it happens. This is where the pub player will just put you on your ass. You know, yeah. part of my language, but like everyone's there's a different culture here it's it's respected differently here and i i respect that so that's why we're here mm. yeah and when you've got rewards like getting to the uk open being able to yeah. play on stages and play in these big tournaments must I be relish in that. yeah man i relish in that that's 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 where i'm supposed to be you know i believe that like i be, i really believe that that's where i'm supposed to be mm. so you know like I grew up on a stage you know like that's like being a musician like the stage is where i feel most comfortable really yeah. Or in the back of the room, one of the two. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not the biggest social butterfly, if you will. But um, no, I I I definitely know I need to be on stage. I I, I want to be on stage. Like you know, when you want something, it's in your bones. You know, it's just like I that's where I need to be. So I'm I'm really excited to make it. Be fortunate enough to hit my doubles on that giving qualifier to be back. Hopefully, I hit some more this year at yeah. the in my head. Yeah, yeah. and emotive. Sorry. When you think uh, those those opportunities roll around and you get these big experiences, do you feel like you've got to you've got to take them, having not quite got to where you want to be yet? Yeah, again, it's one of those like, you know, I, it's hard to think. I try not to think when I play the arts as much. I mean, I do think obviously, but like it's it's hard. It's it, I, I don't tell myself, oh, you're going to a tournament tonight. This isn't the UK Open qualifier. You can suck tonight because it's like I didn't come almost four thousand miles away from my three-year-old son and family to to suck you know so it's like I, I don't know what happens there there's something that happens and i'm just you know I'm, I'm fortunate enough to be able to turn it on when i need to at the right times but uh obviously i need to learn to turn it on every time and that's just again experience i think i think i just need to keep doing this like i've been doing yeah. you know because i do i sit in you know my my my, ma my current management of vsm you know he's you know he's he's doing his work and I'm just in this room with the dartboard, and that's that's how I want that's how I want it to be because it just I'm like laser tunnel vision right now you know so and I think to do anything great you have to it's not going to be comfortable and that's yeah. what it is you know this is comfortable but like you know you gotta put yourself in these situations I think yeah try missing, try missing your family for a year and then putting yourself in a room with the dartboard and then tell me you're not going to you're not going to hit that double when you need it because you want to go home so bad that it's like you better hit this double then yeah. buy that play ticket. you know that's the pressure isn't it because when you you've been i assume because all you've got to do now is play darts you're going to be practicing hour yeah. upon hour and when it rolls around you'll you'll be ready for it it's the best feeling you know you don't want to be on the line thinking man i wish i would have practiced my doubles a little more you know you want to you want to know i've put the work in i've you know there's no way i don't hit this double there's no way, you know. That's, uh, yeah. So while you're over in in the UK, um, obviously there's there's loads of darts nowadays that you can play as a non tour card holder. Whether it be Challenge Tour, you've got Modus. We've mentioned things like pub qualifiers. There's plenty of money in opens these days over in the UK. Lakeside, I'm in Lakeside too, so that that'll be fun. That'll that'll be a, that's a prestigious one, isn't it? Lakeside, and mm -hmm. at the end of the year, I think I'm ranked like fifth in the Lakeside World uh, Order of Merit yeah that's something i've never done so um, i mean you know it is unfortunate to not have a tour card hopefully i still get one through challenge tour but you know i, I uh and i will I'll, you know do my best to get one obviously that's why i'm here but um it'll be fun to do some prestigious like the the wdf like the, the lakeside and then obviously moda starts on monday and then uk open you know, i'm still finding those backdoor entrances into these big events because you know, kind of like Cujo, you got to kill him twice. You know, I'm not just going to run away. You know, I'm here for the real thing. So, you mentioned Lakeside. Is that something that you watched down the years as a kid? Yeah, yeah, I remember watching all the all the BDO stuff. I mean, I grew up watching all that. All these before the split, 
you know, before the Ollie mm-hmm. Croft and then the PTC split, all that stuff. Uh, that was a huge, huge inspiration in my life. Anyway, my dad, you know, playing in the '90s and stuff. That was that was huge for me. So Lakeside, something that I've always, I've never done before. I've I, I've done the win, like the World Masters, as a youth, and then this last year, but never Lakeside. So I'm really looking forward to just being able to say I've done that and been there and I've done that one. Hmm. So you've been to the venue before. When when were you last there? I, the, when I went to uh, well, so the the Masters last year, the 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 WDF was um, that was in Holland. That was in uh, what is it, Assen. Oh. Assen okay. yeah. And then the first time I was here, when I was 15, playing in the Masters, I've been here loads since then, but like uh, the first Masters was uh, in uh, Bridlington. Yeah. I came over with Stacey Bromberg and, you know, Jim Windmeyer and some of these other U.S. guys. And uh, it was my first time ever here on the coast there up north. And it was just a whole nother world, right? I got destroyed, just got crushed as a youth. I was a youth player. I was like 15. So that was, that was my, oh man, they actually play darts here, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, been working since then, you know. Mm. But uh, yeah. never you been. Mentioned, you mentioned a couple of names there, and I think it's it's a credit to what goes on over in North America. That there's so many people that are coming over. There's there's obviously people who are on the tour, but the amount yeah. of players that played Q School or uh, playing things like the Challenge Tour, it's there's a lot of names coming over now. Yeah, I know. I love to see it too. I mean, I you know, I, I'm, I'm a, there's so much talent back home. There's so much talent back home. A lot of, a lot of, you know, you know, a lot, a lot of good, good youth players, you know, a lot of, a lot of just good young people and, and just the old school, like, like Alex Bellman, you know, he's not necessarily a super young guy, but he's an amazingly talented guy and he made the journey, you know, and then you got Larry being a legend, Leonard Gates, you know, all these guys are just, just doing it, you know, and that's, that, that's what needs to happen. There's too much talent not to. Yeah. You know, I love seeing that kind of stuff. Everyone that came over, honestly, that respect to all of them. That's yeah. huge. We need to do that. We need to do that. Take the, take the, take the losses. Again, there's no substitute for experience. This is how you grow. I guarantee everyone that came here, went home, motivated to play, feeling like a better dart player. You're just better for doing it. Every time I've gone home, like, you know, you spend all this money and investment and time, you come here and lose in 10 minutes, potentially that flight home. You're just like ready to hit the board. If you're that, if you're that guy that came here. It's the most motivating thing in the world, honestly. Mm-hmm. I've never not felt better going home, even though I'm disappointed. I just spent, you know, eight million dollars coming here, or what? You know, you know, you know. It's just like it's like expensive flights, you know, all this stuff. But you go home and you're just ready to hit that practice board, man. You can't can't beat that feeling, that motivation, you know. Is someone like Larry a bit of an inspiration to you? I'm sure he's one. Yeah, of them. yeah. The butlers are like that, that you grew yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they don't live far from me. They're like family to me. I've known them my whole life. You know, Sharon and Larry, the kids. You know, like I've I've known them my whole life. I'm. They're like I consider them family. Can you know in a way? You know. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what, Larry can still play as well. Some of those darts he threw at yeah. school in particular, he's throwing some good stuff at the moment. I know. So I was watching Mark. So I'll be on Motors next week. I still don't know who my what, what group I'm in really. Um, mm. I start on Monday and uh but uh, no he'll he'll play through the wheels fall off man the same same with me you know we'll, we, we go to we that we can't literally go anymore so that's hats off to him for, for still keeping it going it's been a long week for him yeah it's been a long, it's been a long 137 years for him really <laughs> uh before i let you go i'd like to talk about leonard gates because he's someone that's really grabbed the attention of the uk audience not just the not just the dancing yeah. but yeah. the darts as well i think what we, yeah. we saw him a few years ago and he was a he was a decent player but he's what we're seeing now he's a quality player no he's in the he's in the top he's one he's in top us you know one of the like if not in the top top us player at the moment you know he's 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 playing in form he's he's always been played well I always look up to him because he, you know, I remember scoring his games, you know, when I was a kid as well, like him and my dad in, in Stanford, Connecticut at the youth nationals. Like, he, you know, he, he's been playing a lot longer. He puts the grind in, you know, he, he really loves the game. He, all he does is darts. He'll play a full comp and then go home and practice darts some more. He's, he's really, you know, that when I think of people like him out there, it makes me, and he's, you know, it makes me want to practice harder because I'm just like, he just played a full comp and then he went home and practiced more like that. That, that might, well, I don't stand a chance if I don't do the same. So like he's a motivating figure. He really is playing class. He's always been playing class too. He's a he's a quality player, and a really good guy. So you know, I'm a fan. Yeah. So are we. So are we. Well, it's been a pre- really appreciate chatting to you. Yeah, um, man. Best of luck for whatever go- whatever you've got coming up. I know you've got Modus. You've got 
the, the the UK Open. There's a lot on the calendar, isn't there? Yes, it is, man. I'm looking forward to it. Bring it on, you know. Thanks for having me.